Welcome back to the Stat Show, back to the season, back to the normal format. We're going to be previewing the Everton game in a second, but first we're just going to have a look at Stoke's latest sign-in in attack to replace Arnautovic, maybe. We've got two promoting in, and looking at his stats, they're not too dissimilar to Arnie's, as we can see over the past three seasons. They've got the same amount of non-penalty goals, both on 15, and two promoting is a little bit more um, clinical in his shot conversion, uh, getting a goal with 11% of all of his shots. And assists-wise, two promoting isn't really that much far behind Arnie either. He's got 12 to Arnie's 16. And which reflects in his chances created, which is slightly down on Ornautovic. But here we see the big difference. We see that Chupo Moting is much more of a combative physical presence on the pitch. He wins more aerial duels. He's more confident at dribbling past his man and taking the men on. And quickly looking to our other signing, who should be through the door by now. It isn't 100% confirmed as I'm currently filming, but probably will be by the time you're seeing this. Martin's Indy, he comes into the side and it's a good thing if we're carrying on with the back three. He's so important to the back three. As we can see here, we have the the pass map from the first time the back three was tried out against Watford and our most recent match against Leipzig. And we see that uh, Martin's Indy is playing in the middle against Watford, whereas it's Shawcross against Leipzig. And the, the key point here is this pass line into the midfield, which Shawcross doesn't generate. Shawcross just simply gives the ball to the centre-backs and it doesn't ever really receive it from the goalkeeper, whereas Martins Indy is confident to take the ball from the goalkeeper and move it into midfield himself, which is essential to that formation working. Now, looking ahead to Everton and looking at the pre-seasons that we've both had, there might be a little bit of hope. Everton have really struggled to click and they haven't haven't even generated um, an XG of higher than one in any of their game, in any of their three past games in the two Europa League qualifiers and against Sevilla. Whereas Stoke have not been doing too bad. We look secure in defence. We managed to shut out Leipzig and keep them down to a really low XG if you take away the penalty that they scored. So, yeah, not too negative looking ahead to Everton, and there could be a potential for Stoke to do something good, maybe even come away from Goodison Park with three points. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave it a like. Make sure you leave a comment for what you want me to talk about next week, and subscribe to the Bear Pit TV.